second half of the season. Chance off into his wind, and the first pitch is driven out to right with some carry. On the run, that ball is up, and it is out of here. First pitch ambushed by Mooney, and it's a leadoff home run. Just a great swing by Mooney. You know, typically you're not gonna you're, you're not gonna expect a leadoff hitter to swing at the first pitch of the game. Uh, Duke scouting report must be that Huff likes to throw fastballs early in the count. Really, the key for him, Andy, the whole season is if he can get into the fifth inning, sixth inning. He's typically had good as well as, as the catch and throw aspect. That ball is driven into the opposite field for a base hit. So Mooney with the leadoff home run. Runners both in motion. Parada guns to second and he throws it into center field. That'll enable Pauly to scramble up from third and score. And it's now 2-0. Knight might be green lighted with another blast deep to left. A hanger, a banger, and a two run homer. And what a start for the Blue Devils. A pair of home runs in the first, still nobody out, and they stress the lead to 4 0. Yeah, and it all goes back to that 0 2 hit by pitch. Storm stands in, rolls it off a of first, backhanded by Jenkins, redirects and shovels for the first out. You put hit and runs on when you steal bases, it creates holes, it puts pressure on the defense to make plays. Lux bangs it opposite field. Base pass, especially with Huff rattled. And they pick him off. Now that time, Huff was on top of it. Throw up a zero for Duke. Bobbled off the chest of Hoyle, and he will have no recovery. Simpson bluffs a move, and it's popped up high in the air. Simpson goes all the way to second base as the catch is made on the grass by a storm. One away. Do a count. You know, if you're picking off once or twice an inning, it's different. In the air, deep left center, Obi has it measured at the track, two outs. Simpson takes off, throw by Yu, bounces in front of second. It's picked nicely by Mooney, but Simpson swipes his 14. In the dirt, skips away. Simpson bolting for third, and he beats it out. On a risk bouncing one that gets away from the catcher. Brown ball, and he shoots it through for the RBI. It's different because he's on third base. Ball hammered by Borden toward the foul pole, and gone. And it's now 4-3, to three, and the ACC Player of the Week stays hot. Yeah, and this is a mistake pitch by Johnson, just a hanging, breaking ball. And, you know, Borden saw it the pitch before and took it. And this time doesn't miss it. Play. Georgia Tech hasn't missed, so just credit the Georgia Tech offense. Makes work of Compton. Up a zero again, it's a shutdown inning. That is roped into right, cut off by Reed, but a solid single by Hoyle tonight for him. Hot shot on one hop, it's speared at second by Jackson. Relay to first, six, four, three. Being able to lay off that pitch. And he'll take his base on the walk to extend the inning. No move by Mooney, and that ball is drilled by Pauly. Deep to right, track, wall, gone. So the Jackets pounded a two-run homer with two outs in the bottom of the first, top of the second. It's the Blue Devils' turn, and they make it 6-3. And then just, you know, kind of how the inning went for Duke, ship, and all of a sudden go another four innings without giving up a run. Diving grab on the grass by Simpson. The throw pulls Jenkins off the bag, though. Terrific job to clean. Off the end of the bat. Bounce towards second. And that does it for Duke in the second. Every once in a while, he he cuts it. It's probably not something he's trying to give at bats. He's going to be sticking in the lineup. Rounds one in the hole. Diving stop by Mooney. Shovels on to second to get Hall. Brings up Jaden Jackson, who strokes one into the gap in right center. Lux makes the catch. Took a good angle to that ball. Got to hope he either hits one right at a guy. Good discipline. Yanks it over the glove of Pauly into left. Reed gets the call through third. No throw in. And Kevin Parada. He can Swing and a miss. Ball bounces away. Retrieved by you. Tosses across and in time to complete the strikeout and retire the side. Preseason.
sixth in the Coastal, now in the top ten nationally. A squiver of a bunt, but is mishandled by Parada. It slipped out of his hands. At first, kind of makes some holes around the infield. And a bit low, and so fun. Something easier for Lux to do is get a bunt down and move the runners and go swing. Two hopper to second, the shovel, the turn, double play. Lux moved both runners with a bunt and ground into a double play. Hoyle hits this a mile high in foul territory. Parada meandering, but he makes the catch. Again. Still hoping that can be the case as a swing and a miss sets down Gonzalez. That is very dangerous. Swinging and hammering into right field. It is sinking it off the top of the wall. Lux charging in to retrieve it. Compton eases into second, inches away from a home run. When it's not. Hard hit ground ball past the dive of Hoyle and into right field. Compton windmilled through third. And no throw home. He slides in. And Georgia Tech plays a fifth run with two out. Swung out and missed. Got him chasing low. Actually springtime. When Obi gets drilled on the first pitch. And the zone nowhere to be found. For Brad. Missing by, you know, a little bit off, a little bit in. Rolled off a of first and it squeezes through. We'll see what they do with Obi. They send him around. Run comes in at the corners. And Duke gets a run back to make it 7-5. Who's two for two. Couldn't time the off speed. Lifts it into left center. We'll see what they do with the lead runner. Catch made by Gonzalez. Runner tags. And the throw gets cut off. Grooves one up the middle. Diving. Stopped by Simpson. Do they turn two? No. But it was a terrific layout by Simpson off a set. Is going to be de decided by whose pitching staff can really force Johnson to throw two more in a row. Misses down at first. Bounced in the hole to second, flagged down by Hoyle, makes the spin and throw. Swing it there, pitch. Got him jammed, and he pops it up shallow right. Storm on the grass now, in the dirt now, makes the... They're going to want to. Yanked off a third, it skips off the heel of Pauly's glove. Stays in foul territory. Jenkins hustles into second ahead of the tag. And once again, Georgia... Sent in the air to right center field. Dead run. OB makes the catch. Flag. You know, I mean, he, he, he started and gone two or three innings out of the bullpen. Strike three on the outside corner. We're always, you know, it seems like every season is tops in the country and run scored and crushed into center. Ground rule double. As it hops over. They're going to have to hold up the lead runner, Storm, at third. Outfield and potentially get a sack fly. Oh, that's a beauty of a squeeze. Parada guns it high. Runner is safe, and the run scores. And it's now 9-6. And the runner takes off on the first pitch. Parada bluffs to third. And Another a bunt here. Pass third and fair. It'll score two. Fist out of the corner by Gonzalez. Obi sneaks one down the line. And now Duke has its largest lead. It's 11 to 6. Pops him up. Oh, camps and makes the catch. Two outs. Got underneath it. Underspin fly ball. It's caught by Parada. Parada knocks one into left base hit. That's what Georgia Tech needed, you know, if they, you know, 10, 15 minutes from now. Popped up, short right, Storm ranging over, it'll fall for a base hit. The first. Bunting, knocks it up the line. Yu has to turn around on it. The throw is not in time. Fly. And said it drops right in on the knees, out number one. Instead, it is taken and tagged. Grand slam off the light pole for Compton. And it's a one-run game in the seventh. Oh, and did that ever detonate off the bat of Drew Compton? Yeah, I mean, really kind of a confounding pitch, Andy. I mean, you had so much success against Borden with the off speed. Left center. 
scalded up the middle, a base hit by Hall. And so now the game tying run is on base for the Jackets. Off the board and, and keep them with the lead. First pitch swing and a sinking liner by Reed and it drops in. Will play out the window and so. And it is home because there's just not a lot of a chance of doubling him off. Fly ball right field, laying out, making the diving catch is Lux. Hall sent in, he scores. A big diving grab by Lux, but it's not enough to prevent the tying run from coming in. Him swinging in a situation like this. Ground ball scalded but snared. Storm runs it over. Rack and got underneath it. In there, strike three looking. Captain Will Hoyle. Lefty on righty matchup. A mile high behind first. Jenkins calling off Simpson. Two away. Right down the pipe. Well, there on the inside corner. Sets him down on three pitches. Like you said, you know, probably has. Drives it into the gap in right center. It's cut off by Lux. Reed settles in with a single. How about the hustle by Lux? The 3-2. Cut on and missed. Runner takes off. Throw down is in time. No. And remember, Duke is out of reviews. The 3-2. Cut on. Fly ball. Galloping over is Lux, and he has it measured. Pulls it in. A deep fly by Simpson. Against a guy with really elite stuff. Ooh, watch out! Oh, man. On the helmet, Mooney, is he okay? It looks like he is, but good heavens. That was 98 to the dome. And thank goodness, he's brushing it off. It has a decent move, but not one Ooh, you're afraid high of. high fly ball. Riding out to the track. DeLeo didn't quite barrel it up, though. Outside corner, frozen strike three ball off of a pitch that was up out of the zone. Roll to short. Shovel not in time. Well, Jackson tried to go the short route. Here it comes. And the dirt gets away. So walk will load the bases. The 2-2. Two -two. Oh, he broke it off. Strike three looking. Went with the slide piece. Any chance of coming back on Sunday and throwing. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Chops softly. Mooney charges. Side saddle throw in time. Great stuff. So. Stroked deep left. And it will get down past the dive of Obi. It has to be retrieved by Shrek. Jenkins in second. And he's in scoring position. That's been so consistent over the last four full seasons. So they intentionally walk Gonzalez. Brings on Borden. Hey, you can turn a double play on. Gets underneath it on 2-0. Obi the grab, two outs. Both runners stay put. Ground ball and it gets through, base hit. Here comes Jenkins. There won't be a throw. Compton started the rally and he ends it with the walk off. 12, 10 jackets in 10 innings. And Compton, the hero in the opener. We talked about earlier, Andy just getting Drew Compton going in ACC play. Gets a 